Hello everyone! Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. Um, I hope everybody's doing well today. We're just going to do something really simple and I'm going to show you guys this lovely guy who is up on the Etsy shop and just kind of do a little flip through so that you can see all the goody goodies that are inside of it. A um, couple things that I do want to call out while I'm talking about Etsy shop things. There's four new listings. There, other than this, um, there are custom listings now. So if you've had the chance to watch any of the other videos on my feed, um, in regards to ones that I have made that are more custom oriented, or even if you've seen one, um, of the ones that are like the flourish themed or the heritage themed or what have you, all of that falls under the same category. So rather than making and making and making and making, um, which I do love to do, I wanted to give people the option of having one custom done. So say you've seen one of the custom pieces and you want one like that, minus this, that, or the third, and you want to add in this, that, and the third, that's now an option for you. They are priced the exact same as the pre-made because they take all the same amount of materials. They take all the same amount of time. Um, I can discuss that on an individual basis with each and every purchaser of what they want. You're free to put obviously in the comments and we can have a chat about it. Or if you want to direct message me before you buy, that's an option too. Um, there's plenty of flip through videos on here now of different product styles. Um, so that you can kind of see what you're going to get. That's not going to change. You're still going to get the same amount of ephemera. You're still going to get the same amount of stickers and goodies and pockets and all of that will still be the same. It'll just be customized to whatever colors and patterns and style that you want. That's really the only thing that changed. So if you had any questions about that, that's what that's about. I feel like that's pretty descriptive. If you guys have any more questions, seriously, feel free. Drop me a comment. Send me a message. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Um, but let's move on to this guy. So this covers pre-made. This is the first one that I have posted in the shop where the cover is not handmade by me. Um, these are the Jane Davenport um, butterfly book covers, actually. I lucked out um, and found a good haul of them and had the idea to use them for the shop just to give you guys something a little bit different um, in style while I continue hand making. So this one is the cover, or the <laughs> this is the cover obviously. This is the canvas cover that she came out with. So you can actually gesso the outside and paint over it, okay? Um, one thing that I noticed that is a little bit different is there's only two uh, loops, but I'll show you kind of how I did a little work around with that. This is the teal color loop that's on the outside that holds the book together. Um, if you can't see it, it's because I'm back on my teal mat. I'm back to my pre-coronavirus filming location. So the inside is obviously the exact same as the can is the outside. The whole thing is canvas. Um, so I didn't want to put my typical pocket here. So one thing to note, if you do a custom book and you end up getting one of these covers, I'm not going to be able to put my, t I mean, I can, there's nothing that says that I can't, but for this particular journal, I really did want it to be blank so that you could canvas the whole thing, um, in this particular case. So I put in her pocket inserts. So this one is great if, this particular journal is really great if you are a do-it-yourselfer, if you love mixed media, if you were looking for something that doesn't have so much pattern in it and is very do-it-yourself, um, hence the title. So in this first pocket, the back is blank. Um, I think the back would be a great place to stick stickers personally, like extra stickers that you need to use up because it's that... Um, you could peel them back off easy. This is where I'm hiding all of your packaging paper, um, little ephemera, handmade ephemera bits that I make. Um, I love stamping on packaging paper and ripping it. I think it gives it such a nice textured look. And so there are five of those. There are always five in every single one that I do. 
every single one. This first page is actually canvas paper, so you can paint on it just the same as you would a regular can canvas. I do want to go back and kind of label some just for the benefit of the purchaser and I will ask on a case by case basis. Some of us are pros and we know what kind of paper it is. Some of us are not pros or not as educated on paper. I don't want to say pros because I don't want that nasty comparison monster. This really gorgeous paper is um, from the Jane Davenport pad that she has. This is just some dot grid paper regular kind of mercury paper. This is vellum. We've got some vintage paper in here that folds out. More of that Jane Davenport. This is watercolor paper. That Jane Davenport paper. And then it's going to repeat back through those papers just on the opposite side. I'd have to count them out, but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight pages, because these are a little bit thicker. So I wanted to make sure I didn't overdo it and pop the binding or start ripping paper. So I'm pretty sure just by quick counting that, that it's eight. Um, which gives you eight styles, 16 pages if you count one way, and then it's 32 if you count a different way. So if you're counting front back, so if you're going one, two, you've got 32 pages. But if you're counting like one, two, three, that's 16, I think is how that rolls out. So that's the end of the first insert. And now we're going to get to the other side of that pocket, which is where all of your fun stickers are hidden. So we've got lots of bright colors, lots of pops of gold. Um, I didn't want, I wanted a good medley of stickers that could just be kind of added in because the whole point of this is to continue to be colorful and just play. So I didn't want them too um, themed. I didn't, and I don't, Jane doesn't really have a lot of stickers in her line. She's got so much mixed media stuff. So I really kind of had to get creative on that one. Um, the other thing that's really different about these is it has these really cool inserts. So you have this stencil. It's probably really hard to see on the white paper, but I can see it through the camera lens. So I think it's okay. But this is really neat. And I love using this recently. It's been my new fun toy to play with and it's a stencil and this particular stencil I'll flip to the back side is like a um, swatch style so you can make your circles and then put your watercolors or your paints in there which I think is great and you have triangles you have circles of different sizes you have squares you have a big nice rectangle bar I love that the other thing is this washi board so typically I would hand make a washi board um, but I opted to get the pre-made one so that it fit in there. And a lot of these new pieces are part of that butterfly book system. So it made sense to put these guys together. So I included tape from Jane. There's, um, some crepe paper tape in here and there's some Heidi Swap in here. So we're going to go through that. This is actually Smashbook tape. Um, so I actually made this. I, I originally wanted it to be a piece of ephemera, but then I thought, oh, how great would that be to be able to put it on a tape and you could put it on whatever page and it would be a little bit smaller and more manageable. So it says artist journal on both sides. You get one full artist journal and then you get one journal and one artist by itself. Then it's a run of this. Smash book tape. In case you guys are new to this channel, I kind of started off smash booking. The channel kind of started with me smash booking anyway, um, and moving into Project Life and planners and then this. So it there's a lot of content on the channel. Um, I really like this tape with all the different like books and paints and things. So in the sketch style of it, it really went with the theme. Um, to give you an idea of how much, it, how much tape you have, it's a little over a foot for each 
style, which is per my norm. Um, these are different utensils. So you've got like little paint brushes and pencils and water brush pens and things like that. This is just kind of like a watercolor skinny stripe. This guy says where, when, what, who over and over again. Um, and I like that it was black and white. So you can just plunk it somewhere and it would go with your photos. I liked this like gold mustardy color with the typewriter font because I thought it complemented the stripes and this and it was very muted and it just says different things like kind, beautiful, loved, thankful, just good little sentiments. So now that I've reviewed the stencil and the washi tape, we're going to go through the second insert. Now that you're getting, oh, I put it in backwards. Um, now that you're getting a little sneak peek ahead. Oh, I'm going to call this out. So I'm sure you noticed that most of the cording is teal. Well, the thing about the teal is it was only going to allow me to put two books in, which I'm sure would have been plenty. But I have a tradition of having three or more in most of my books. So I really wanted to make sure I had room to put a third. And I wanted to give you guys room to add a fourth if you wanted of your own, whether it be a monthly insert, a, um, a weekly insert, craft paper, something different. Um, so I threaded this white cording because I knew it would kind of like disappear into the cover and into everything pretty well. Um, I added the white cording so that you can add inserts to it. And it was super easy. So if you really find the need to add another insert, you can lace it through. Um, on your own as well and add a different color to put more inserts in there. Okay, so now that we're on the right side of things, <laughs> we can start going through this. So this is Bristol board. Then we have the Jane Davenport paper. We have graph paper, Jane Davenport paper. This is the Jane Davenport marker paper. That's why its corners are rounded and a little different. This, I believe, if memory serves, is a different kind of marker paper. Or it might be mixed media. It's too smooth. That's the other reason I want to go back and label it, but I'm pretty sure it's marker paper. I'd have to double check behind me. Then we've got more Jane Davenport paper, a dot grid, and then they start to repeat. I'm really trying to look at it and see... What I think that is. I'm pretty sure it's marker paper. It's just marker paper of a different kind. And you'll notice that all of the edges, I love that page a lot. You'll notice that a lot of that all these inserts don't have clean split edges like my typical ones do. I wanted to leave them kind of uneven, specifically for the style of this journal. It's not meant to, it's meant to be a creative space, not necessarily something very manicured. Um, and here is the other pocket. So normally I would have one pocket on each inside cover, and then I would have one of these guys in each little insert, but I wanted you to be able to have lots of playroom. So I did a vellum pocket, a Jane Davenport style pocket, a canvas pocket, and a watercolor pocket so that you can decorate those um, prior to putting them in or after you put them in and that you have control over it. I put in a tag to play on that you can use as a tip-in, some paint swatches, because I love a good paint swatch, and then some Tim Holtz ephemera. So there's a good little assortment of that. All tucked in that little guy. Now we're going to get to that last insert. So we've got that canvas paper showing up again. Jane Davenport paper. Some vintage paper. As you can see, I didn't fold it, probably, or I didn't sew it in exactly perfectly right. I liked it kind of off center that time. More Jane Davenport paper. This is actually really fun because it's Tomoe River paper, which was nice to include in there. That marker paper from Jane Davenport, more Jane Davenport pattern paper, vellum. We're at the center and we're just going to repeat back from there. 
I'm really excited I got to put in the Tomoe River paper that I got here in time. I found it in, I love that it says Fine Arts next to the paint swatches. I do try to um, theme the encyclopedia pages to whatever the book is about, just to give it that little extra touch. So here we are at the final pocket. I'll talk about these really fast and then get into that pocket. This is just a really cool sheet of alphas. They're just plain flat sticker alphas and nothing thicker is about them. And then this great little circle that you could easily punch a little hole and stick a brad through and spin around if you wanted to or do bunches of things with. And it just has paint, right? Dancing, play, create, stamp. So all the fun things that I would encourage you to do with this journal except for maybe dance, maybe dance with it. Okay. So this is Tomoe River paper. This is like a little extra cut off of it and then some canvas paper to play with. I also gave all of these little extra scrappies that normally I just tuck in my scrap drawer and use for another project, but I thought it would be fun to be able to give them to the owner of the book to play with. And then I made my typical little envelope but I made it out of the canvas paper so that you would be free to paint it. Now, one thing that you will notice with most of my pockets is that there is washi tape at the top. And that is because despite everything I have done, I cannot figure out why they always split up here. Um, I maybe need to try playing with a crease pad a little bit more to figure that out. But I'm really excited about the canvas style. And you can always switch this washi for something that matches the cover when you're done with it. I just went with paint swatches because it went with the thing. So inside you will find your vellum pieces. So there's always going to be five of those. I think she's my favorite thing to put on vellum. Then I was smart enough to label the back of these as I stamped them. There's some watercolor die cut stamp pre-stamped images so I gave you lots of flowers to play with a light bulb I liked the create and then this went with the light bulb so it says seemed like such a great idea at the time so these are great little handmade die cuts that I make for every kit and there's usually there's always five sometimes I get over excited and I make more if it's applicable so I think that one I just kind of counted the flowers almost as a as one. I'll tuck them all back in there. But yes, um, to just sum it all up for you, this guy is now available in the shop. Um, if you want, let's just use this one as an example. Say you want this one and you want it done in a custom and you want me to do it with craft paper and black cardstock as well and you want, um, different types of paper, or instead of Jane Davenport, you want to see um, a different brand. I'm looking at doing a couple different brands as like test versions of this. Um, or if you want, say, another one of the butterfly book covers, I do have several different, I think I have all the styles, at least one of every style that she's come out with. So if you want the mermaid one or what have you, you have options. Um, but you would just pick the custom listing and you would put your details in. The, it'll give you a box that'll say, do you need to tell the seller any details? That would be your perfect spot for that. Um, and we just go from there. Or as I said before, you're more than welcome to direct message me and ask about different papers that I have at the time because it's always changing um, based off what I'm making or what I have in my stash that I've already pre-purchased and I have set aside specifically for the Etsy shop. So that's it for now. I hope everyone's doing well and kind of enjoying the early stages of summer. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.